Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. In my previous video, I already mentioned that we already started our online class due to this pandemic corona crisis. But some of you complained that you could not continue my full class due to internet problem. This problem made me think to make my lecture video step by step. Hope this video will help you to understand my lecture and will also help other person who are interested on this topic. In this video, we'll discuss about a name reaction that is Marion Pondroff Varley reaction. Name reactions are usually named after the chemist who discovered the reaction. In every name reaction, I try to discuss about the theory, mechanism of the reaction, application, and limitations of the reaction. Now I am explaining the theory of Marion Pondroff Varley reduction reaction. This reaction is also known as MPV reduction reaction. The MPV reduction in organic chemistry is the reduction of aldehydes and ketones to their corresponding alcohols utilizing aluminum alkoxide catalysis in the presence of a sacrificial alcohol. The advantages of the MPV reduction lie in its high chemoselectivity and its use of a cheap environmentally friendly metal catalyst. The MPV reduction was discovered by Marin and Smith and separately by Varley in 1925. They found that a mixture of aluminum ethoxide and ethanol could reduce aldehydes to their alcohols. Pondoff applied the reaction to ketones and upgraded the catalyst to aluminum isopropoxide in isopropanol. Here we can see an example of MPV reduction reaction. Here a ketone is reacting with a secondary alcohol in the presence of a catalyst aluminum isopropoxide. After completion of the reaction, the starting ketone will be reduced to its corresponding secondary alcohol and the secondary alcohol will be oxidized to its corresponding ketone. As the starting ketone is reduced to its corresponding secondary alcohol, that's why the reaction is known as reduction reaction. After that, we want to discuss about the mechanism of the reaction. In first step, the ketone will react with the catalyst aluminum isopropoxide. In ketone, there is a carbonyl group and oxygen due to its high electronegativity withdraw the pi electron between carbon and oxygen and after that withdrawal oxygen becomes negative and the carbon become positive. So after that the negative oxygen tries to share its excess electron with aluminum of aluminum isopropoxide. As we know that the outer shell of aluminum is not filled. So it has always a tendency to attract electron if it is available. So sharing the excess electron of oxygen, aluminum form a bond between oxygen and aluminum and the charge of aluminum becomes negative. So after that this complex aluminum try to be neutral and oxygen due to its high electronegativity it withdraw the bonding electron between aluminum and oxygen and then this bond is uh, broken and after that oxygen become negative and this portion aluminum has no charge. So after that oxygen try to share its excess electron to the adjacent carbon but the carbon is not electron deficient at this stage but that carbon is bonded with a hydrogen atom and the location of the hydrogen atom is very close to the positive carbon. So due to the influence of the negative oxygen because it try to share its excess electron to the carbon but it can share its excess electron to carbon when the carbon is electron deficient and here the positive carbon always 
attracts excess electron because its charge is positive. Due to this simultaneous effect of negative oxygen and positive carbon, the bond between carbon and hydrogen is broken and the hydrogen is separated as hydride ion. So after that, that carbon becomes positive. So then and then, the negative oxygen can share with this positive carbon its excess electron and form a bond between carbon and oxygen. The separated hydrogen ion share its excess electron to this positive carbon and form a bond between this carbon and hydride ion. So after completion of this second step, we can see there is a formation of a ketone which is similar or correspond to the reacting secondary alcohol and aluminium and the ketone form another type of complex here. In step 3, the aluminium isoalkoxide which is formed after step 2 will be hydrolyzed in the presence of water and it will be ionized. First, water will be dissociated to proton and hydroxyl ion and here in aluminum isopropoxide there is a bond between oxygen and aluminum and we know that oxygen is highly electronegative compared to aluminum due to its electronegativity it withdraw the bonding electron between oxygen and aluminum after withdrawal oxygen become negative and aluminum become positive after that the proton which is produced from water share the excess electron of oxygen and it will be converted to a secondary alcohol which is corresponding to the starting reacting ketone and the positive aluminum ion will sh share the excess electron of hydroxyl ion and will form aluminum hydroxide. So after that the aluminum hydroxide will react with the reacting secondary alcohol. So after reacting with three molecule of secondary alcohol they will produce three molecule of water and this water will be separated and the reacting aluminum hydroxide and the secondary alcohol will form aluminum isopropoxide which is the catalyst we used for this reaction. As we know when a catalyst is used in an organic reaction the catalyst initiate the reaction it helps to proceed the reaction but at the end of the reaction it remains unchanged. Here we can see that after the completion of the reaction again the catalyst is formed that is it is same as before but it initiate the reaction in the first step and helped to proceed the reaction. So this is the overall mechanism of MPV reduction. Again I want to say in MPV reduction a ketone is reacting with a secondary alcohol in the presence of a catalyst aluminum isopropoxide. After completion of the reaction the ketone is reduced to its corresponding secondary alcohol here we can see in step 3 and the secondary alcohol is oxidized to its corresponding ketone that is produced in step 2. So this is the overall mechanism of MPP reduction and that's all about the mechanism. Now I want to discuss about the application of this reaction. Using the knowledge of MPV reduction reaction, we can synthesize secondary alcohol from ketone. We can also synthesize acetone from secondary alcohol using this reaction.
we can also use the MPP reduction mechanism for the synthesis of some important pharmaceutical products. For example, steroid hormone synthesis, testosterone. We can see from the figure that test the precursor of testosterone is androstenedione. In androstenedione, we can see a carbonyl group. So, using the MPB reduction mechanism, we can convert this carbonyl group to secondary alcohol that is androstenedione to testosterone. We can also use the knowledge of MPV reduction reaction to synthesize some antibiotic like chloramphenicol. In chloramphenicol synthesis, we can see the precursor of the chloramphenicol contain a carbonyl group and we have to reduce this carbonyl group to secondary alcohol group. In this step, we can use the reaction mechanism of MPV reduction. So here I mentioned uh, some application of this reaction. If you want, you can also include other applications which is related to MPV reduction reaction. Now I want to discuss about the limitations of this reaction. Every reaction has some limitations. The first limitations of this reaction is the yield of this reaction is very low. So we have to consider it as one of the limitation. Second limitation of this reaction is the alkoxide that is the catalyst should contain a secondary hydrogen. Most specifically the catalyst should be aluminum isopropoxide. As it is the only one choice so we can consider this as a limitations of this reaction. That's all about the MPV reduction. If you like my lecture video, then don't forget to click the like button. You can also share this video to your friends and can also put your comments. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Your subscription will encourage me to make more lecture videos for you all. Thank you.